<laughs> Morning routine. We gotta take my daughter to school. Say good morning, Matt. Say good morning, everyone. Yeah, it's a good morning, man. It's a good morning because we're alive, man. We got another chance to be great. You let her. Got another chance to be great, man. Let's be great today. Everybody, we're going to be great today. We're going to have fun today. School bus out. Oh, they're going to let me go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. School bus. Y'all see that big school bus behind me, do you? No, it's washed out. But good morning, good morning, good morning. We're getting our day started, everybody. The morning routine has begun. Oh, my goodness, the Puerto Rican hammer. Hey, my friend, Jazz. What is that? Hold up. Cheers. I don't know if you're having some coffee this morning, my brother, but thank you, man. Put a smile on my face, brother. Appreciate that, man. Doggone it. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting I said it was going to be a good day. Uh-oh. What's going on with I said it's going to be a good day, and it's starting out extra special with the 499. Are you, my man, Demon, are you out of your mind? 499, are you out of your mind? No, he's not. How's it going? Man, it's going great, as my brother Tony the Tiger would say, man. The Puerto Rican hammer. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. That's all right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, we just starting out today, man. I'm riding through the neighborhood right now. Let me turn my camera around. What's up, man? Stay trip with baby girl. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a safe trip, man. We we just we still in the neighborhood right now, cruising through. Cause uh, traffic get a little busy on the back gate that I normally go out of in the morning. So uh, there's a side gate where like trucks and stuff come in at. So we're gonna sneak out the side gate. But man, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, man, to be alive, man, to just get this day started. Get the day started, man. You know, somebody probably woke up this morning, man, in a, in a you know, in a bad mood, a little upset, don't feel like things are going right, but that's all right. We got you. We're going to carry the weight for you this morning. There you go. Let, let us carry the weight for you this morning, man. We got some folks that's in a good mood this morning, man, that's happy. We got a smile on their face. It's going gonna, it's gonna to spray it. That happiness and that joy is going to spread, man. I don't care what's going on. Let me tell you something about me. I don't care what's going on. Yeah, man. I get hit, too. You know, I had to take a knee, too. I had to call time out myself, man. But guess what? I'm getting up. Let's go to the back gate. Let me show y'all. It's already done went up. Can't even show you now. But you might better see it behind me. Gate come back down. There you go. See the gate? Little side gate. Uh-huh, I done beat the little traffic out this morning, man. Smash that like button, man. Thank y'all. You can't handle the truth. Auto Biz, Puerto Rican Hammer. I can't say that name. Something Y-V-T-R, something. All right, let me pull out here, then I'll get out here. But you know who you are. She says, I'm back again. I'm back again. I see the comment. Might not better see too many comments as I'm rolling. Got my phone right on top of my steering wheel, like literally, like my hand, you see, right there, you know, like right in my view. But hopefully everybody's having a good morning, man. Hey, look, KJ, if you're still in here, man, um, and I hadn't put the video out yet, but but I've been trying to do research on um, on Tesla. Been doing research on Tesla, man. So that's why I've been. I'm on a fact finding mission on Tesla. On Tesla. Monte Carlo still on the way. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Monte Carlo still on the way. And y'all know I'm, I'm a, I want to. I want. I'm going to sell the Jetta. Want to replace the Jetta. So we're looking at options to replace the Jetta. Y'all let my head. Don't ride that. Don't ride that. Yeah, man. So we're replacing the Jetta. Are oh, you in that live trade today? Okay. Um. So man, we've been talking about it. Me and my wife talked about it last night. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about it last night. And then this morning, we talked about it. We were watching, thank you, YouTube. All the YouTube videos, man, uh, with, the, with the test. Looking at Model S and that Model Y. You know, 
looking at used Model X. Um, I was looking at used Model Y too, but that Tesla has a weird kind of used inventory, man. It's, so it's, I'm not gonna say weird. I'm gonna say it's different because literally a car will come on Tesla's website, and you you sit there talking about it and looking at it, and you know because you got it on the screen, but then you you click it again, it's gone. Somebody sold it. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, man. If you want to sell your Tesla, do Tesla. You know, I think, man, both buying them like hotcakes, man. So I'm just, I'm just on a fact finding mission, learning the different trim levels and all of that. Hey, good morning, everybody. Y'all see the queen is in here. Mrs. E. Vapors. Yeah. Mrs. E. Vapors is in here. We might have to get her to change her YouTube name to Mrs. E. Vapors. So folks will know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Tonight, you got my time. Yeah. Every little bit of second on my watch, you got it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the morning routine, man. Missy Babies, I got everybody up out of bed. All right, you go over here. You go over there. You know what I'm saying? That's what she do. She's the quarterback. You know, I'm, I'm like that wide receiver that make all the money and, and, and you know, want to do things a certain kind of way. Then the quarterback be like, well, I'm just not going to throw you the ball. And you come back to the huddle and be like, all right, I'll, I'll run that route that you want me to run. And then we both end up winning together. Champions. Here's the champion. Here's the 15 years of marriage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an expert, but I can tell you a little something about being married for 15 years. I can I can tell you a little something. I might not can tell you about being married 30 years or only been married two years. I might not better tell you about dating right now, but I can tell you about being married for 15 years. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you about mutual respect. I can tell you about listening. I can. I sure can. I can tell you about if you're wrong, you're just wrong. you be like, oh, man. I want to, look, y'all said, I got, matter of fact, this is a great conversation to have. I got the Don't Ride or Die hat on. Don't Ride or Die hat on. And, man, when I tell you, I was so ready to get a don't about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at this point, maybe. Like, I was ready to go on, I mean, I was hunting, hunting, like, really hunting. And my wife was like, nah, I don't know if that makes sense. You got that old school coming, and you got, the, if you get that, you got the Monte Carlo coming. You went, are you going to sell the Jetta? Are you going to have the Jetta, Bert, and the Monte Carlo? It just started, like, to not make sense. I was like, yeah, that don't make sense. So, so at, well, at least I got me a, I still got me a don't on the hat. <laughs> I still got me a don't on the hat, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, Ms. E. Vapors, I still got me a don't anyway. Robel is in here, y'all. Y'all see Robel in here, man. And, look, let me, some of y'all just coming in here, man. I don't know if you can still see it on the screen or not. But uh, the Puerto Rican Hammer, man, so he came in, he dropped a, dropped a super chat. So thank you, Puerto Rican Hammer. Appreciate that. We got the Mustang family in here. I see you. Bad Stang is in here. Good morning. Good morning, Bad Stang. We just out here rolling. We'll be here at the highway. Oh, look at this right here. Look at this right here, y'all. Y'all like them? That joint look tough, man. He got his daughter in that with him. Ooh, that joint look like they was having fun, man. What y'all think about that? That's lean shot. Had his daughter in there. Look like me and Madison in the little in the slingshot this morning. Hair blowing. But my beard would have been blowing. But Madison's hair could have been blowing in the wind. Yeah, they look like they was having fun. My friend got one. He got he got a slingshot, but he got the the um, the, the top on. I know I want the top on mine because you know sun, rain. I put the top on that. Yeah, I want. I always want something. Just talking about how I didn't get the dog. Now I want a slingshot this morning. But I tell you what we about to do. We about to do slingshot right here. Engage. If you ain't first, you're last. Slingshot engage. Slingshot around that GMC truck. And we roll it. Start the day out right, man. Start my day out right. 
come up in here and got a super chat. Hey, when I see the money's come in, where the money resides, where the money resides. Hey, <laughs> jail. Yeah. That might be what I say when the super chats come in. Where if we gonna have to sing one ball, one or two bars, or where the money resides, where the money resides. Hey, there you go. Give me a couple of bars where the money resides. Thank you, Puerto Rican Ham. I appreciate you, man. I try to check. I try to tap in with you when I can, man. I have so, so much stuff going on every day. Um, I really try my best. When I, and now I be feeling like I don't get all my notifications. That's how you going to have that conversation, man. Melvin. Any, meaning Melvin. What's going on, family? What up? Even neighbors, family, y'all in here this morning? Now. Y'all better not give me, not y'all, talking about this traffic. Y'all, traffic better not give me no problem this morning. Ain't got time for it. I was going to go 210 the other way, and I went this way. And now, now we're like, we sitting for a minute. But we good, though. We we, we left on time. We left with a nice little nice little window. And, and it's not sitting still, traffic. It's rolling a little bit. But it, it is congested. And I generally go the other way. It's two ways to go. I generally go the other way. But... The road out, the first road I was on looked so empty. I was like, ain't nobody out here. So I thought, let me go on, 80, you know, 87 then. Guess I was wrong. Such is life, man. But I got y'all, man. Y'all can keep me company. Got my daughter back there, man. She's going to have a great day, man. In Jesus' name, I believe that. You believe that, man? She's going to have a great day today. Protected. You know what I'm saying? Smart, articulate. She's going to learn some things today. I'm going to learn some things today. I hope you guys learn something today. I don't care if you're sitting at home, um, retired like me. I don't care if you're sitting at home, furloughed. I don't care if you're sitting at home, laid off. Man, they got one of my friends just pull up beside me. One of my friends just pull up beside me. He don't, he don't know this car. This is the low, low car. He don't know this car. I'm going to speak to him, though. He's going to be like, what? What's up? Hey, I, I'm over here riding next to Mr. Stevens on top of the Chad. Chad! <laughs> I saw Chad worked out this morning on the Apple Watch. Yeah, yeah. I heard you, brother. Yeah. My boy, man. <laughs> That's crazy, man. We, we go to church together, man. One of my brothers right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's crazy, he's talking to another one of our homeboys named Chad. Then when I woke up this morning, I looked on my Apple Watch. And um, I saw what Chad had just finished working out. I was just like, show him off first thing in the morning. One of these days, I'm going to show off one morning and work out. And they probably going to text me and be like, man, this first time you worked out in the morning, man, in a, in a um, minute. And I'm going to be like, worry about yourself before I disconnect you from my Apple Watch. Gabe, what's going on? Can't go back to sleep till you learn something. Hey, got to learn something every day, man. There's a lot of value. You know, I I, I say this a lot. I say a lot of things a lot, but I'm going to say this a lot. There's a lot of value in minding your business. Because sometimes you feel like you need to be out somewhere, you need to be doing something, you need to be, you know, just kind of here, there, everywhere. No, 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 no. There's a lot of value, man, in just being at the house. Not wasting no energy, not wasting no time, not even wasting any money. There's a lot of value in that. A lot of value in that, man. Being at home. Single or married, value in being at home, not engaged in anything. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I think that's a great way to charge your battery. You know, physical health, mental health, batteries, either one. It's a great way to charge that battery, man. you just at home. you chilling. Because whatever's going on is still going on, whether you at home or whether you out and about or whether you are reading the, the current headlines whatever the current bad headlines are, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the current bad topic is on social media and you get bogged down mentally and you and you get drained. You know, this BMW got a nice stance on it right here, man. They definitely lowered that thing. They definitely playing with that suspension right there. Nice looking five series. Nice stance on it. Real nice stance on it. I like it. It looks like about some nineteen inch wheels, possibly. Look good though. Nice looking five series he got out here this morning. On his way to work. 
You're probably like, how you know he's on his way to work? Because he's in a military uniform. <laughs> he's probably on his way to work. Yeah, man. Another day, man. I'm thankful. I'm forever thankful, man. I'm thankful to be out here in the Jetta this morning. I'm thankful. Thankful to be out here in the Jetta this morning. Yeah, I'm going to sell the Jetta. I heard you. Well, you said you are going to sell the Jetta. Yeah, I'm still thankful that it, it started up this morning. It cranked. Why did you go that way? It's more traffic. Yeah, I know, baby. Um, and I see what happened. Somebody had a boat boom. I had a boom boom. They don't pull it off the road though, so the boom boom over with. I think most of this trap right here probably come from goose necking, rubber necking. Uh oh, somebody just threw a cigarette out of the window. I know. No smoking. Yeah, I know. No smoking. Yeah, man. Tonight you got my time. Every little second on my watch. We rolling though, Missy Vapors. We rolling through the traffic. We rolling through the traffic peaks. You know what I mean? Missy Vapors, I remember what you asked me the other day. You asked me, what was that car I was looking at? It was an Audi. I want to say it was an Audi uh, A6 or something like that. I want to say it was a, then I was looking at the Audi TT. Yeah, because the four-door one was like the Audi A6, and then I was looking at the Audi TT. Cause I want to say you asked me the last night or the night before, like, what was that car you were looking at? And I couldn't think of it. I was like, what car was I looking at? But I only looked at it for like a minute, and then kind of was just like, yo, it's a super fast car. But uh, that was it. Didn't didn't investigate any further than that, other than a, a few YouTube videos. Pain to entertain, sipping my coffee, getting ready to get it in. Hey, Pain, cheers. Cheers, Pain. All my coffee drinkers out here this morning. Cheers. Let's toast. Let's toast to happiness. Let's toast to prosperity. Let's toast. Let's toast to being kind, to being considerate. You know what I'm saying? Let's toast to those things. That's me. Kind, considerate, thoughtful, caring about other people, building other people. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. Sometimes, sometimes it's about somebody else, man. Well, I don't know how to build anybody. Well. There's something that you really know a lot about. I don't care if it's collecting Pokemon cards. Guess what? Somebody's just about to start building a Pokemon collection today. And you are the authority. You are the subject matter expert on Pokemon cards. Build them up. Give them some tips. Help them out. Don't do the work for them. Point them in the right direction. That's building. We're behind a Tesla. I think this is a Model 3. We're going to try to pull up beside them if they don't leave. Yeah, that's a Model 3. That's a Model 3. We behind it, doesn't it? Behind it, beside it. Yeah, Model 3. We got a decent little look. Looking like the future. You know what I'm saying? Over there looking like the future. Model that black look good, though. That black, black. Black wheels, black tint. And, you know, we got pollen on the cars right now. I don't know about where y'all live. Y'all, y'all pollen, how y'all pollen index looking? Yeah, how y'all pollen index looking? Come on, Mercedes. Don't get over right now in front of me. They got over in front of me. They did. Maybe they about to go to Waffle House or something. Right? I ain't mad at them. But they got to make safe moves. Make safe moves. I'm going to clip. I got plenty of space. Signal like, yeah, we signal that hey, we're getting over. And we did. But man, I'm I'm one thousand percent motivated this morning. I'm super excited. I was excited to get up and get on the road and um, take my daughter to school. As my wife would say, you know, that that, that get you know, that, that can get you just the blood flowing and get you know, go ahead and get up and get out and that way you're already up. Because when I don't take her to school you know, there's been times where, you know, I, I lay on in a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? Me and my, uh, my t well, she'll be two years old in uh, a few days, April 2nd. So I lay on in. And then, you know, I, I lose a little bit of productivity. And it's okay to lay in sometimes. It is. We charge that battery. 
But I like to get on up, man. Get up and get on out. You know? Feel good. You know? Got my coffee. The only thing I would change, I'll be on that back porch right now. I'll be sitting on that back porch, sipping on some coffee. That's it. Back porch and coffee. Now, some people say Netflix and chill. Back porch and coffee. Yeah, back porch and coffee, man. Yeah, traffic going good this morning, Miss Eva. We made it through. We made it through. We made it through. Let's show y'all the traffic traffic. Shane, what's going on, Shane? E Vapor's family, y'all. E Vapor's family. Y'all part of E Vapor's family? Busy Vapor's. Lil McKenzie. Lil Madison. We're all part of E Vapor's family, man. We stay positive. We stay motivated. You know what I'm saying? We're going to enjoy the process as well as the final result. We're going to enjoy the whole process. You know, and we're not going to wish and want our lives away. We're going to enjoy today. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to wish and want our lives away. We're going to enjoy today. What do you mean by this? Let me drive this car first. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. You know, I do not like riding beside or behind on big trucks like that at all. Let's, uh, we clear now. Now we can just chill. We can just coast our way on through. We can just coast our way on through now. But yeah, a lot of times you can wish and want your life away, man. You know, you can just sit and be like, man, I wish I had this. Man, I want that. You know what I'm saying? Wish, want, wish, want, wish, want. And you let a whole week go by you didn't do anything. Didn't accomplish anything. Let a whole month go by. You didn't accomplish anything. Or you spend a lot of time talking about what you're going to do instead of actually doing it. You know, or making some kind of progress toward actually doing it. I don't care if you have a journal and you write that or in your phone, note section like me. I got a note section. I think of something, I put it in that phone, you know, under that under that subject. On that notepad. Like, I'm not going to waste a, a, a good thought. I'm not going to waste it. And I can refer back to it. But I, I don't spend a whole lot of time wishing I won't, man. I'm, I'm enjoying today. Oh, I wish I could go to Disney. Speaking of that, I need to connect with my Disney tickets. Um, I don't spend a bunch of time doing that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and plan the trip. But I'm not going to be miserable sitting at home until the, the Disney trip. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Uh, and I'm going to enjoy life in between that. And a lot of times we'll sit and be like, man, I wish I had this job. I wish I had that job. And then you'll be miserable on your current job, you know, until you get a new job. You just let six months, nine months go by of misery. Nah, man. You might not enjoy the job, man, but you better be enjoying life or enjoying the fact that you do have a job, even though they might act crazy on that. And trust me, I've been there. I have been there, whether it was in the military or on, on, on a civilian job. Civilian job before I joined the military, civilian job after um, I retired from the military. So, you know, federal government, private sector, you know, there, there's no escape from people that aren't happy with themselves. And that's what it always boils down to. People that are not happy with themselves, they project that unhappiness on other people. That's the, that's it. You're not happy with yourself. If you're coming into work, doing your thing, smiling your business, smile on your face, and they come sideways, they're not happy with themselves. You know what I'm saying? So be a little understanding this morning and understand that, hey, man, he or she, they're not happy with themselves. Maybe they didn't have a good relationship with their mother or their father, or maybe they're having some marital issues or some single issues. You know, they they projecting that out on the on their coworkers or on the people that work uh, for them or with them. 
So try to have a little understanding this morning. I'm not saying take no mess. I'm just saying don't fall out of character. You know what I'm saying? Just because they fussing and cussing, that don't mean you got to fuss and cuss. Just because they talking loud, don't mean you got to talk loud. You got more strength and power, man. And more con- when you're confident, you know who you are. You don't have to be the loudest person in the room, man, to know you the baddest joker in the room. That's how my mind works. You know, and I, 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 I try to encourage people to feel the same way. You don't have to wait for somebody to believe in you. Who are you waiting on? You start with you. You got to believe in yourself because you're the one going to have to do the work. Like, when I did use the hoop and play football, you couldn't have told me I wasn't Deion Sanders. You could not have told me that I was not actually him. That's how my mind worked. Like, literally, you could not have told me. If you would have called me Eric, I would have been like, who is that? You better call me prime time. That, that's how strong your mind is now. You can tell your, your mind is that strong that you can really believe. And, of course, you got to have the physical attributes to, to back it up or that skill set on that thing to back it up. But, man, you better root for yourself. You better be your biggest cheerleader, man. You better be your biggest believer. Other people will come, and, and it ain't got to be family and friends. There are billions of people in this world. Once somebody introduced you, man, you're going to have millions of supporters, man. Don't worry about family and friends trying to get them to, to quote, unquote, you know, support you. Don't worry about that. Oh, trust me, they're going to come. Let the money reside. Let the money reside. Hey, they're going to be there. That's how they show support. They come around when things are great. That's when you know things are great. If you're not sure if things are great, when you're, when an abundance of family and friends start messing with you, calling you, you know what I'm saying, want to rock with you, or even really hating on you, you're doing all right. You know? I mean, it's biblical that with blessings, incomes with blessings. I can't change biblical principles. I can't change it. So when you get blessed, when you are blessed, there's going to be a level of, of, of hate and envy associated with that. Sorry to tell you that. You know, people still can hate on you when, you when you're not blessed. So why not be blessed and understand that there's going to be a certain level of, of, of envy because you're, you're blessed? I mean, I'm talking about simple stuff, simple blessings. Like, you, the fact that you woke up this morning and you up and at him at your job, on your way to your job, just made your first social media post of the morning. Somebody upset with that. And there's a shopping cart that's been on this bridge that I just went under for the last three days. The shopping cart right up there. Sorry. But yeah, man, be your biggest cheerleader, man. Root for yourself. I do. I'm root for you. E-Vapors. I believe in you, E-Vapors, man. You can do it. Go out here and get this bread for the family, man. Go out here and create additional streams of income. You can do it, man. It don't matter what anybody else say. I'm talking to me right now. It don't matter what anybody else say. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. If you do something that don't work, at least you know that doesn't work. Try it again or move on to something else. But you are the person that can get things done for your family. You don't have to wait on anybody else. And you're not going to have a pity party. You're going to dust yourself off each and every time you're going to get back up. You are already prepared for distraction. You're already prepared for envy, Eric. You're already ready for people to be upset just because you walked in the room and didn't bother anybody. We're playing chess. We're not playing checkers. We're playing chess. We're 10 moves ahead. So when you walk in the room, you're already prepared for this person over here not to speak. You're already prepared for this person over here to lie. You're already prepared for nobody to give you your flowers. You don't need the flowers from nobody. You gave yourself a flower this morning and said, man, you all right, boy. 
you all right, man. Through all the mistakes you made, you were a good person. You made a lot of mistakes. But, man, you keep getting up on a Friday. That was free for me to talk to myself like that, man, in the morning. Now, every morning, I tell myself some positive words of affirmation every morning. And I smile. Before I even open my eyes up, I like to smile. I put a smile on my face before I even open my eyes up. I say, thank you, Jesus, for another day. And I smile. Then I open my eyes up. It helped me get to going. So, whatever your thing is, whatever your words of affirmation is, man, man, do it. First thing in the morning. And these things that we're talking about, it doesn't have anything to do with, with money. Like, it has nothing to do with money. You think because somebody's a millionaire that they're, they're immune to being sad, that they're immune to depression? Don't let them fool you because they buying cars every week. Tesla Model S. Go ahead now, I see you. This Model S look good, though. But um, I, I, I'm going to set myself up for that dog on that new Model S. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to set that up one day. Yeah, man. Don't let that fool you, man. Trust me, I, I've been there where you feel like, man, if only I had a million dollars. That's always like the magic number, not two million, not ten million. Folk always say, man, if I had a million dollars, everything would be all right. No, it wouldn't. I'm trying to figure out what is these cars doing right here beside me. Okay, I got it figured out. But yeah, man, that, that magic number, a million dollars is not going to fix anything. It's not going to change anything, man. The level of love will, though. The level of love in your heart toward other people will, man. Are you able to love people that don't love you? Are you able to show love to people that are that are ignorant and, 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 and you know, stepping outside of themselves? Are you able to do that? Are you able to remain cool, to remain calm, under pressure, under perceived pressure? Because it's really, it's really not any pressure. Yes, I am. And even if you're not, just say you are, and, and prepare yourself to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Be cool and calm under pressure. Pain, entertain. Oh, all we got, like say, I love me so me. Yeah, yeah, I. Love me some me. Change, I think, with a me and everything would definitely be all right. Hey, look, I ain't going to lie to you. A million dollars would be all right. But it wouldn't be the money that's making it all right. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be the money that's making it all right. Like, because a million dollars come in, boom, uh, that person that you uh, love is now going to love you back. You know what I'm saying? Or that person that's on drugs is all of a sudden not going to be on drugs just because a direct deposit went into your account of a million dollars. Nah, none of that stuff is going. None of that stuff is going to change because of the money. And I, that's what I think a lot of people fail to realize, man. Like, it ain't the money. Nah, it, it ain't. It ain't that. It ain't that. But I tell you what, it'll pay some bills though. Huh? Think it won't, Madison? Madison. We almost here. Look, 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 look up. We almost here, baby. All right. What time? We yeah, we made good time. We made good time. Hey, Miss Sinclair is in here. What's going on, Miss Sinclair? Man, we having some morning motivation as I'm taking my one of my beautiful daughters to school this morning. We giving out free morning motivation, man. People love the family stuff, man. So I said, man, let's let's show what we do, man. We take the kids to school. We take this one to school. Let me say it's not kids to school. Because the baby is at the house, and I can't wait to get back home to give her a big hug and a kiss. Give my wife a hug and a kiss. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Here we go. Making our turns the morning. Road guard. Or crossing, crossing guard. Okay, she busting that U-turn this morning. Shouldn't have done it. But it's all good. I ain't mad with her for Daddy. busting. Yeah, baby. You see the mask? You got the mask? Somewhere I don't know where Madison, listen. Car, okay. Where the mask? It was just laying on, on the book bag. Alright, I knew it slid off. Here you go. Put your mask on. Why don't you say it? There you go, put your mask I'm on. Quiet, I'm a cop. My name is Carmen. 
Carney. Daddy's corny. All right, got the mask on. Daddy's corny. Mm-hmm. Got the mask. Here's your backpack. And you got your... Yeah, I, I love you, baby. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're going to be pulling up in the Tesla one of these days. I right, love you, girl. Be blessed in Jesus' name. You have a good one. Hello. Good morning. How are y'all? All right. Can I bring it you can bring it here. Take it with you just in case. Yeah. You don't, yeah. Take it with you just in case. Okay. All right. You don't want to Just hang it up. Just hang it up in your touch. Come here. Okay. All right, baby. Just hang it in your All right. Thank you. All right. They're going to hook her up, put the coat in her backpack. She don't want to carry it. So they're going to throw it in her backpack. Good job, ladies. Yeah, we rolling, man. And we're off. We ain't off to see no wizard. We off to get back to the crib. I love being at the crib. I do. Alright, there we go. Get out of this parking lot. And it's 25 miles per hour, so remember that. It's school zone, 25 miles per hour. Alright, cool, cool. Got you. There we go. We on the road. 25 miles per hour. Y'all help me stay 25. Help me stay 25. We will not be getting nobody's pink slip this morning. But we motivated, man. We moving and grooving this morning. No tickets. I, I need y'all to make sure y'all get in y'all kitchen. Get that coffee. I need y'all to toast with me this morning, man. We might be toasting more often, man. We might be toasting a lot of mornings, man. I, I, I like going live to go get my daughter from school. You know what I'm saying? That's in the afternoons, obviously. You know, but um, I like going live in the morning, too, man. Feeling fresh. Feeling good. Have some good sleep last night. You know what I'm saying? Just happy with myself, man. You got to be happy with yourself. You got to be happy on the inside. And when you being happy on the inside don't mean that you won't have personal tragedies, that things won't won't go wrong, you know. The job didn't go through, you know what I'm saying, the investment didn't work. You know what I'm saying, the idea didn't work. It don't mean them things aren't going to happen. You still can be, You still can be happy as a person, man. And that happiness is not tied into another person. You know, if we tied our happiness into human beings, we're going to be let down because human beings can't read your mind. You know what I'm saying? So you're thinking, man, I need I need them to cook me dinner, then I'll, I'll be happy. And you ain't said a word. They didn't cook you dinner. They can't read your mind. If you hungry, you'll eat. I'm going to sit here and not eat until they cook me some dinner. Okay. You sit right there, buddy. Donald McFarlane, good morning. We had to stop like I'm going to scroll back a little bit. Sam Gordon, that's my little brother, y'all, and neighbor. Shane, e was the call out is near. Enjoy your trip, and I won't be able to make, make this one in person, but I will be there virtually. Shane, you better be there virtually. You know I'm going to be making Instagram posts, you know, I'll probably go live for a couple, two, three, eight minutes, you know what I'm saying, on on um, YouTube, you know, all of that. You can't handle the truth. What's going on? Pain to entertain. Auto beds. Melvin. Ms. E. Vapors. We all in here. We moving. We moving this morning. We get on the highway. Let me show y'all some highway action. The GLI, the Jetta GLI, the Jetta don't lie. The GLI don't lie. Let's get on up in this traffic, y'all. Here we go. That is coming. It's merge. That's merge. Appreciate the shame. Oh, that truck made a bad move right there. Jumping over two lanes at the same time. That's dangerous. 
Oh, look at them. Uh huh. The truck had to slam on brakes behind the little boat wagon. Man, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing. I'm gonna chill right here. I'm gonna chill right here where I'm at. Yeah. I'm gonna chill right here behind the, the Explorer. I'm gonna let the NASCAR folks do what they do. Y'all go ahead on, burn the road up. Yeah, man, burn the road up. Let me see. Watch this one right here. Burn the road up. Honda burn the road up. And it's out and she's about to push her off the road. There you go. Push them going off the road. I'm going to sit right here behind this Explorer until the time for me to go around this Explorer. Which is not right now. I'm chilling. I'm relaxed. We got to do some vlogging this morning. So, look, so when y'all watch, watch the vlog, y'all see I got on the red hat. Don't ride or die. And the don't ride or die hoodie. I know you can't really see that too too much, but yeah, there you go. See that don't right there. Don't ride or die hoodie. You be like, oh, I, I remember he was live that morning. We had a great conversation that morning. We started our day the right way that morning. We didn't let any weapons formed against us possible. You know what I'm saying? We didn't. We didn't let any plans of the enemy defeat us. It's like watching them old cartoons. We got the evil villain and their plans were foiled yet again by your favorite superhero. Your favorite superhero, my friend, is you. And we're going to thwart the plan of the villain. We're going to win. By the, by the end of the episode, we're going to win. Right? Come on, now, y'all know that. Y'all watch y'all favorite cartoons. Everything is all right by the end of the show, right? By the end of the episode, right? Every time, like clockwork. I see the red stitch in there. Oh, yeah, the red stitch. Oh, man, I tell you, again, the Jetta GLI, this is a nice little car. It's fun, it's quick, it's all that. I'm having fun changing the gears. I remember when we bought it saying, I love the, the, the red stitching in the car. It's just a, it's just a nice little touch. Um, to the car, man. It really is. But we're going to make a move on this judgment. So I need to get by Climatics and see what they can, see what they talking about as far as, um, you know, how they buy cars and stuff like that. I need to go by there and see what they're talking about. You know, Model 3s all the time. Hellcat. Okay. Pass the Hellcat. They chilling in traffic this morning. When I tell you there's a Jetta on every corner, that is, those are facts. Passing the Jetta SE. Passing the Jetta SE. Today is a great day. We're happy, we're healthy, and we're whole, man. We got our mind. You know what I'm saying? We got it. We here. We still alive. They tried to beat us. They lost. You know what I'm saying? They tried to get us. And they end up getting got. You, may, you know, a lot of times I just sit back and just watch stuff, man. I don't, I don't, as much as I talk on YouTube, in real life, I don't say a whole lot. Some of y'all might catch that. Some of y'all might catch it. Social media, YouTube, yeah, I talk. I do motivation. MCM, Motivation Cars of Money. I got a YouTube channel, so I'm going to talk. You know, we're going to show things. We're going to have fun. We're going to do all these things. But in real life, I do a whole lot of talking about what I'm going to do, about what other people are doing, about what other people are saying. I am human. So I'm not going to act like, Oh, it feels great when people talk about you. But again, I understand biblically that envy comes with blessings. So when I hear hear of people talking about me, and then I see the blessings that are that are occurring every day, every week, every month, every year, it's like it all makes sense. God is great. Somebody mad with me, uh, I don't know, because of a pair of shoes. 
you got to take it up with him. You do. Why he got ask him? That's what I believe. That's where my blessings come from. So if you that bad and that bold, you ask him. You ask him about me. I don't encourage you to do that, but uh, if you feel froggy, tell But I'm at peace with myself, man, at peace with my family. And at what point do you mature in these things in life? You know, at what point do you stop having road rage and traffic? you 40 years old and you're still arguing with people in traffic? Come on, grow up. you 40 years old you're still arguing with people? Come on, man. You gotta grow up, man. You gotta mature. At what point? At what point will you mature in communicating with people without cussing? You know what I'm saying? At what point? When? When? You gotta ask them. When are you? When are you gonna mature? And that's with all areas of life, man. You can't keep saying, "Well, one day, man." No, today. Today. We all gotta mature in a lot of different things, man. You can't be 40 years old, 30 years old, and still have the same 15-year-old mindset. You can't respond like a 20-year-old would respond and you 30. You can't respond like a 15-year-old would and you 40. When you gonna mature? At what point? When you gonna finally save money? Uh-oh. When? When? When you gonna do that? When you gonna get your when you gonna get your credit together? When you gonna do that? When? You can do it now. Now is now you know what? Now's a great time. Since you here listening, whether you live or you watch this later, now's a great time to make some key changes in your life. Right now. Oh, isn't Google so lovely? Oh, isn't YouTube so lovely? It's two biggest search engines in the world where you can just type in how to do a budget, how to save money, and it's going to be so many videos out there that are free, and you can just sit there and watch them and enjoy them. Yeah, you still can watch um, Power. You, know, you still can watch your favorite TV show, insert your favorite TV show on Cartoon. But why are you watching Power after you watch three episodes? Watch something educational. It's going to put money in your pocket or keep money in your pocket. That's what I do. Always learn. Always learning, man. 47 years old. I'm still learning. But I want to get better for myself. I want to get better for, for my wife, for my daughters. And there's uh, so much information flowing. And I don't, I don't want to miss any. And a lot of this information, timing is everything. What if we all got in early on Amazon? You know what I'm saying? What if we all got in early on Tesla? What if we all got in early on Starbucks or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Whatever that company is that, that's booming. Well, I'll just answer that question. For me, I didn't understand buying and selling stock. I didn't even know you could just buy some stock. I ain't even know what, what you mean a startup company. What was a startup? I ain't, know, I ain't know about none of that stuff. I do now, and I'm continually educating myself on those things now. It's like with Robin Hood. Yeah, y'all heard of Robin Hood. I have the link in all my videos. Robin Hood. Go and get that free stock. I'll get a free stock. You'll get a free stock. I got my link in all my videos. And then start watching Robin Hood videos. My friend Chess Holmes got several Robin Hood videos on YouTube right now. And plenty of other people do. How to use Robin Hood. And there's different groups, forums that you can be a part of, you know, where people are sharing information for free. Come on, man. You want to be different? You got to do different. You want to be different? You got to think different. When I see everybody doing something, 
I could have wanted to do it. Ain't gonna do it now. That's how my mind works. Oh, everybody doing this? Everybody talking about that? Oh, so and so, they get a divorce. Everybody talking about it. I ain't talking about it. You feel me? Oh, so and so just did. God bless you. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about what everybody else is doing, man. I, I really don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Everybody's wearing their pants like this. Well, doggone it, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not wearing my pants like that just because everybody else is doing it. I wear my pants like that if I choose to do that. But I'm not going to feel any kind of pressure, societal pressure, you know, to do a thing, to talk about a thing. Now, I know what I believe, and I know what standard of, of uh, living that I have, and I'm not going to uh, be in a break on that standard. I'm not going to sell my morals to, to please society. And I see that a lot. I see people that believe one thing, but because society thinks that something else is cool now that you don't even believe and have never believed, now you're doing it. Now you co you know, negative behavior. Now you're co-signing. There's a fool right here. Right here. He's driving dangerous out here. He driving dangerous out here. I guess that's something you can't escape from. And then on, on the whole traffic thing, I always feel like you never know what's going on in somebody's head. Joker could have just got fired. And he or she. That was a, a call coming in that I'm going to have to get to here in a second, man. But um, I have thoroughly enjoyed Hanging out with y'all this morning, man. I appreciate y'all riding with the E-Vapers family. And you guys are E-Vapers family, man. Make sure you guys spread the word, man. Spread the word. What we're doing over here. We got some, we got some good stuff on the way. You know, we got some good stuff right now. Like, right now, we're all having a good time. Just rolling out. You know, chilling. Mission complete. Dropping my daughter off at school. All is well, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm believing the same thing for all y'all too right now. All is well in your household. You got a smile on your face, regardless of what's going on today. You keep that smile on your face, man. Educate yourself. Educate and elevate. Educate and elevate. And old sneaky police sitting everywhere around here. What's going on? All right. Man, man, vapors. Uh oh, what Shane said. No, oh, thanks for watching and welcome to the family. Oh, we got new family members in here. Safe driving. Thank you, thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. This is an all positive place, man. All we do is motivate, inspire, encourage. Um, we're gonna have fun with the family. My wife, my two daughters. Uh, we're gonna travel. We're gonna buy some cars. We're going to discuss buying cars. And my wife going to tell me no. And we're going to have fun. So, it's your main man, Vapors. Y'all know what we do around here. We swipe up. Ding.